thank you to Banyan Hill Publishing for sponsoring this video. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another full self-driving beta video. We're on 10.6.1, heading to downtown Ann Arbor, making the turn in the incorrect direction. <laughs> I did not expect it all, but hey, it was actually a pretty good turn. So we'll let the car reroute and figure out what it wants to do as we head down here. If you are enjoying these videos, please hit like, get subscribed, it really helps the channel and you'll get to see all these sweet self-driving videos. I got other stuff coming up. Model X video is almost done. Yes, we got a Model X working on the video. So going to get that to you as soon as I can. So heading to downtown Ann Arbor here, uh, we're <laughs> taking a different route than normal because I did not expect that at all, but the turn was actually uh, very good. So my experience with 10.6.1 so far has been very good, very smooth. Phantom braking is pretty much not happening at all. I've had a couple little like one mile per hour barely slowdowns that have happened so fast I haven't even been able to really interact with the car before it corrects itself. Um, so this is basically a stop sign, so waiting for our turn. You can go ahead. A little slow, but it is moving through. Uh, come on. No one's behind me, so I'm just letting it, letting it go. So a little slow, but hey, it was safe, and it did do it technically correctly besides being slow. Um, so yeah, my experience has been good and smooth so far. Um, with still a little bit of beta quirkiness that we would expect, I, I would think, for a long time. But overall, uh, if I were to fall asleep has been uh, pretty successful with this build. Um, so I've been liking that. But now we're going to go into downtown Ann Arbor. Uh, should be busy, and this should be more difficult than what we've seen. Um, so let's go ahead and get down there. Fast forward to some of the more exciting stuff. Uh, but before that, a huge thank you to today's video sponsor. Banyan Hill Publishing is offering their Profits Unlimited Research Service, a subscription-based research service for people new to investing and looking to get started or take the next step in advancing their investment knowledge. The Profits Unlimited team is led by former hedge fund manager Paul Mampilli, who is known for his knowledge to help new investors build a strategy to give them the best chance for success. The Profits Unlimited strategy works because it has historically outperformed the market two to one. Profits Unlimited already has 130,000 active subscribers and is growing quickly. All of these people getting ideas and trade recommendations for their investing. When the latest news breaks, you'll receive an email anytime you need to take action and make a trade. This will help you feel confident that you have the most up-to-date information and can make the right decision when it's time. The guided approach by Profits Unlimited will be there to inform your decisions. And all of this investment insight can be had for less than $10 a month a single good trade can easily pay off months worth of this service. If you're looking to get into investing or just started investing, or even if you've been investing for a while, check out Profits Unlimited at the link below and get trading. So it looks like we have a light out here. This is not normally a blinking red. And if the light has a problem, it can go to blinking red, which should be treated as a stop sign. And we'll see. I don't think the car will handle this very well, but I'll do my best. So we should, oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> okay, I guess I was wrong. It handled that pretty well. It stopped and then it was our turn, um, I, I believe, because we we're kind of at the same time as that car. Um, yeah, that was actually pretty good. So. Here, pretty much every time we come by this left turn, there's somebody sticking out. It's a really small left turn lane. Um, I would go around, but since the light in front of us is red, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so we'll see how the car handles it. Now we have a green light, so we can't go around because of this bus. Now we can go. So I'm going to have to hit the accelerator here. I'm just going to hit the accelerator only. And we do move just a tad over to avoid them. So the car was just being a little timid there. Um, yeah, I mean, technically a mistake. I don't know how long it would have sat there, but we have people behind us. I can't make them wait. Let's see how this left turn goes. Usually a bit of a mess. Uh, okay, pretty good so far. A little bit of a slowdown mid-turn, which we don't want. And yeah, into this left turn lane, which it never used to do, but has been more of a consistent mistake lately in these later builds. So not sure why it's doing that, but there you go. So. We'll continue on here. We still have our turn signal on. I have no destination in. Uh, we have some cars stopped around this bend. Handled that perfectly. Uh, and then I just want to go right into downtown. 
All right, so we have our right turn coming up here. Coming in a little hot, but not bad. And then, yeah, a little too much braking, like as it reached the end of the turn. Could have been more smooth, but I'm, I'm being pretty picky here. So we're going really slow here. Um, again, not a big deal. I don't know, a lot of this, I'm, I'm getting real picky uh, because we're not usually seeing any really huge mistakes. So a stop and then we'll continue. I didn't see if we actually got to zero miles per hour or not, I wasn't looking. We're on the average setting, it's not assertive, it's not chill. So we do get some rolling stops here still. So I see this person coming out into the crosswalk and I'm gonna hit the brake because the car is going too fast. And it was also trying to change lanes into that bus lane, which if I <laughs> wasn't filming a video, I would have stopped, but I wanted to see what it was gonna do with that. Um, unfortunately, I had to take over there um, for that pedestrian because the car was just going too fast. So this stop sign really shouldn't be a big deal. Here we go. And I'm not sure if I, I, you know, I can't look at the screen that much, especially when the car is <laughs> messing up. Obviously, I have to look at the road. I don't, I assume the pedestrian was displayed. You'll have been able to see that. Um, I have no idea why the car would do that. Now, the, the car did just get its uh, IHS rating, um, and it was, uh, I think, pretty much perfect for the car. It had avoided collisions for, for both the speeds. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to put a screenshot up of the data. Uh, but I noticed for pedestrian, it was just, um, the next level like it was still good but it wasn't the best level it could be and it didn't uh totally avoid collisions okay let's go we're just waiting here there's no one behind me so i'm letting it do its thing um but with pedestrians it dramatically reduced speed okay i'm gonna hit the accelerator because we're kind of stuck here um but it, it dramatically reduced the speed but didn't totally avoid the accident with pedestrians which you know of course you don't want to see um but at least the safety system is doing something and so it makes me think that interaction i had back there had i you know not been paying attention or being stupid or something uh the car probably would have slammed on the brakes at the last minute are we gonna go oh, okay we got a person here um the car probably would have slammed on the brakes at the last minute but all right i'm hitting the accelerator because the light turned red while we were there um and maybe avoided the collision or maybe, you know, got down to two or three miles per hour before it uh, bumped into them or hit that, that person. So uh, still, obviously, <laughs> totally inappropriate. But compared to a dumb car, you know, or a car with no um, driver assistance tech, uh, much of an improvement versus, you know, uh, the scenario of somebody falling asleep. Um, so we're going to turn left here. Uh, that honk was not at me. I think that's just somebody parking. So we're good, we're clear, and we're gonna move through. But is this person gonna cross? Okay, so she's gonna wave us. So I hit the accelerator there because the car does not see hand signals yet. I'm gonna report that and put in our next destination. Um, so yeah, I mean, just some of those kind of awkward, um, awkward interactions there with the pedestrian where the car obviously doesn't know what, what they're saying. So we're slowing here because uh, this was our destination. So the car then should now resume. That's all that is. We made it to the destination and it's continuing. Really need those waypoints. <laughs> we have them on the Model X, which I'm gonna make a video about you know, here eventually, uh, but we need them on beta, <laughs> it would be cool. But yeah, I think you'd probably get that where it gets to the destination and then stops. Oh, we have a road closed, let's see what happens here. Are you gonna, no, oh, 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 come on. No, don't do it, all right. <laughs> it looked like it was gonna straighten itself out there for a second. Um, unfortunately, it did not. It seemed like it was still gonna turn. And again, if we didn't have someone to interact with there, I, I would've just kinda saw how it played out, but I just can't be confusing these people driving around here. So I'm the wrong side of the road here, which obviously is bad. And then we stop and we can go. It's clear, just you need to move right through. Okay, so a little slow, but no, that was good, that was good. Um, it's just, when you sit there, to, ugh, and then stopping, no, 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 go, go, go. Okay, <laughs> hit the accelerator, but almost. Uh, when you get to a clear open inter intersection like that, and then it's just taking too long, you're just inviting this awkwardness, uh, pedestrians to walk up, another car to come into the intersection, and just ruin the whole thing. Uh, whereas if the car would just kind of assertively do its thing, uh, it would be a much better uh, interaction with, with whatever the obstacle is. Okay, waiting for our turn, and it thinks, okay, hey, 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 that was really good. So again, we've seen this scenario before. That truck is parked there, working at the stop sign. So my car initially displayed them as blue, thinking, oh, it was here before us, we're gonna wait for them. But the car really quickly figured out they weren't moving and then moved through uh, that four-way stop. That was really good. It went before them, because we got there before them. It waited for them. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty much a perfect interaction. 
Okay, so I changed the direction, so I'm just going to correct us real quick. Because uh, I want to go over this way, and I want to try that left turn we used to do where the car um, uh, basically messed it up. <laughs> Okay, so we used to turn right here, and, oh, okay, this person's turning left. They put their turn signal on pretty late, so I didn't know. Uh, sorry, it would have been cool to see Beta handle that, but I want to take over, and I want to turn here. The car used to always turn right here, and then for whatever reason, it stopped, and I don't know why. So let's let it go down this road with all this construction. Um, I'm going to go a bit slower. just uh, makes me feel more comfortable. There, so now we'll uh, approach that left turn that the car has messed up in the past. Okay, so we get the green light and we have a lot of backed up traffic here. Now, this is where we're gonna turn left. This is technically parking. I don't know if I would, hey, I guess I would go over there to get into the left turn lane. I don't know if that's illegal or not. I think that's what I would do. But the car, the Tesla, is just going to wait until we have a bit more of an opening and then move over here. So we have a green light. If it goes fast enough, it can make this turn. Now it's yellow, so we're going to have to wait uh, for this. Okay, and then it wants to just move through. <laughs> I don't know, it wants to ignore that red light, I guess. That was strange. Let me turn it back on. Uh, okay, so that was strange. Now it, it stopped a little far back, uh, a little too far back. And then, I don't know, the sun is like directly on that light, so maybe the car is displaying red, so I'm not sure um, why it would have a problem with that. But as far back as it was, the building would be in the way, and now it can actually see the road. It's not displaying the yellow line, but that turning that it's showing on the screen is looking good for getting into the correct portion of the road. Okay, and then we turn green, now we actually can go, and yeah, made that turn perfectly, which is really good. And I think having accidentally moved up so far really helped it in that regard because it could see the street uh, as it was making the turn or even maybe before it was making the turn. All right, so we approached that yellow light. We stopped for the red. We have some pedestrians walking across the street now. And we also have to wait for traffic. So creeping forward and now it's clear so we can go. They're going to be in the way. So I have to hit the accelerator, unfortunately because there is a car coming and my car was just going too slow. See, now they're right behind us. Um, we didn't cut them off or anything, but they were going pretty quick. Um, so yeah, I had to hit the accelerator there or it was gonna be too slow and be in the way. So making a nice stop there and then slowly moving through. I'm sure this person that was going super fast <laughs> in the downtown area is loving that. Uh, and there we go. So we're at the destination. So let's put in one more. Okay, so I just put in the next area. I didn't do anything. I didn't touch the accelerator and the car continued on, moves into the right turn lane, which normally it doesn't here just because I set the destination so late. It's already like in the straight lane. Uh, nice right turn there. Ooh, that sun is really bright. Doesn't seem to be messing up the cameras. All right, so going to make this left turn here, we have someone in front of us. Intersection's clear. We have the wheel move to the right a little bit. Uh, which I haven't been seeing much in 10.6 or this version. But hey, really nice left turn. Uh, did that pretty much perfectly. Now this intersection, is this the one? Yeah, always seems to mess up the car too. So let's see if it can correctly get into the straight lane. Yeah, so it's going towards the left lane. Yeah, so it's staying in the left lane, which <laughs> pretty much always here, I've reported. It uh, messes this up. So let's see, we have a car approaching from behind. And... Yeah, I'm just going to stop it. I don't know what it was thinking. It seemed like, I don't know, I again, I can't look at the visual, unfortunately, but it jerked the wheel to the left, but then put it back straight. <laughs> um, so I don't know what it was trying to decide there with cars everywhere. It should have just been stopped because uh, it obviously couldn't turn left and it couldn't go straight because uh, there were people in our way. Okay, so needing to make a right turn here, the car is always pretty bad at this. Now, not that there's really room. Okay, you're gonna, oh, okay, eh, doing all right, okay. Yeah, we just, it needs to move to the right. It's just kind of awkwardly in the middle, but there's not really room for two cars on this street anyway. Um, and then you can see it's freaking that guy out. He, he's like, oh, I'm gonna go, but this car's moving forward. So, uh, yeah, we can't be moving forward when clearly there are gonna be pedestrians in our way. So attempting to turn right on red here, 
I'm not sure I'd even do it myself. I'd probably just not go. Um, but let's see. Uh, it's just, there's so much. I think I might, I'm just going to push it through. There's just so many things for me to look at all over the place for me to sit there. I just, I don't like it. Uh, cause at any point a person can come out, a car can come out hard braking for that pedestrian reported, uh, kind of don't blame it. It was wrong decision, but I get it. Ooh. And then an alarm. Are you scared of the pedestrians? What's going on? <laughs> so yeah, a little confused with just so much going on around it. Um, I'm sure the sun is not helping, although we have not gotten a specific warning about the sun creeping forward up to the stop line, which we should be doing. Should be closer to the stop line, but it's a red light. Doesn't matter that much. And again, you can see on my map, uh, it looks like the car's off a little bit. If you zoom in here, look at that. It looks like we're in the building. So I don't know if GPS is, is affecting any of these things or what. So green light, good time to go. This car is highlighted, so we should wait for them or move around. All right, not much of an obstacle. Okay, so this person's gonna parallel park and my car is gonna be confused by that. So I'm just gonna get out of their way. I, I, need, a, <laughs> I need a closed test track so I can uh, you know, do this stuff myself and <laughs> not be in real people's way. Um, okay, so this is the crosswalk with lots of people and it looks like it's stopping for them. Foot is on the over the brake, but I don't have to do anything. So really, really, really good prediction there. Um, it's not at the point where you can, of course, rely on it and be like, yeah, the car's going to do that every time. But seeing those people at the edge of the crosswalk and waiting, uh, that prediction is really nice to see. And then probably mess this up as it always does, which I just don't have the patience for right now. <laughs> at the end of the drive, you've seen plenty of mistakes. It's making mistakes all over the place. Um, so we'll turn this back on. Lots of pedestrians. After these two people, I think we're good to go. Nope, someone else coming. Okay, so after this guy, we're good. Okay, so I almost, I was ready to hit the accelerator, but then it did proceed. Okay. Oh, look at that. It looked like they were going to cross the street and the car stopped for them, but then they didn't. So that's pretty funny. It seemed like they changed their mind. All right, so wrapping up, um, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> I don't know. Can you pass a bus on a double yellow? I don't think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> the car wanted to. Uh, it doesn't want to pass the parallel parking person, but it wants to pass the gigantic bus on a double yellow. All right. Anyway, uh, pretty fun overall. Like, yeah, I mean, whatever. So M Elon Musk said that 10.7 is coming and you know, it's awesome or whatever. He said it's a lot better. Um, arguably should be called version 11. I'm excited for it. I'm an optimistic person, but we will be testing it and we will be the judge of that, <laughs> Mr. Musk. <laughs> um, overall, I mean, I can see that the smoothness is, is coming into play. The car is getting better at making a lot of these decisions. It's just still sometimes making the wrong decision. Um, and those things need to be fixed. But it is nice to see that a lot of the times when it's making the correct decision, which uh, arguably it's making the correct decision more than it's, it's making the wrong decision. Um, when it's making those correct decisions, it's now doing them nicely, confidently and smoothly rather than like, oh, I guess I'm making a turn. I'll just, you know, stop in the middle. Um, although we see it still sometimes, it doesn't seem to be as prevalent as it used to be. So anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. We have a green light here um, with a pedestrian. So we're waiting for them. I like this kind of inching up, like right about here is good. That, that's, that's respectful. And now that he's gone, we're slowly, but we're moving through. Uh, I'm trying to wrap this up, but look at all this action. Got the UPS thing. See, this is, I would not be going that fast because who knows if that guy decides like, oh, I forgot something in the truck and just like <laughs> does a 180 real quick. You gotta be ready to, you know, hit the brakes for, for that kind of crazy stuff. So um, anyway, let me know your thoughts about this drive down in the comments. Uh, hope you enjoyed and you will see me and Full Self Driving Beta in the next video.